Hello folks, this is Richard here, and today I'm going to be talking about the 18650 lithium ion lead acid battery capacity meter discharge tester analyzer. That's this little guy right here. And um, it cost me $3.29 uh, and works. And because I am a learner, um, and just getting involved in these uh, 18650 batteries and salvaging them and building my own packs for different purposes. Um, I don't know that much about electricity. So when you're measuring your battery capacity, I didn't know exactly what it was that I was measuring. And this little instrument taught me. So um, one thing uh, when you're handling you know, these lithium ion batteries, uh, you got to be very careful with them. They can have a lot of energy in them. You don't want to short them out. Um, I use clear space, uh, plastic, some kind of insulating material, um, and that. Uh, and then when um, my tools, I'm starting to do this. I put shrink wrap around them so that if I happen to accidentally drop them uh, across terminals, um, that uh, it doesn't short out. So be careful. Now, also, I learned a bit from going to the hobby guy who does a similar thing on this. Uh, one of the things he pointed out is that this little bugger is where you plug in your power cord and you're pulling in and pulling out and it, it's not very well connected. So it might be best to use a cord that plugs in and then just leave it in and plug it in and out of your power source. Your power source should be plugged into your electricity, not from a laptop or some other device, uh, because if your um, computer goes to sleep, you may lose power and then your test goes, goes haywire. So right here, this, this battery here is um, not that good, which gives me an opportunity to do a quick test rather than a long test. It can take quite a while to do, test a single battery. Um, and I've run it down twice already, and, and we'll just uh, see how we go here. I'll plug it in this, my power source, and that comes on. And then um, you set the amperage, like so right now I've got uh, 3.68 volts. Um, and you shouldn't discharge your battery below 3.0, so um, this is... Uh, there's three buttons here. This one will set how far down you want the voltage to go. And it's, it's got, uh, looks like it's set at 2.5, but you can raise that up by pressing the, or lower it, with these two buttons. Um, also, I should show you, uh, this is what does the, the work. This is a resistor, so you're, you're drawing down current using the resistor. This thing gets hot. And so, uh, and it goes into these two outside terminals. Um, you get two of these in the packet, and uh, you can put them in series or parallel. You do it in uh, parallel if you want to increase your draw or uh, decrease it. In, you can do it in series. Um, and then, so what I do is, I, I, because this gets hot, I'm going to bend it up. And get it away from your other wires and give it plenty of air around it. Um, so be aware when you when you set things up. Okay, so I'm going to put it set it at uh, three volts. That will be the bottom of the, ch the charge. So that's when it will cut out. So I'm going to measure from what it is now, which is I forget now, three point five something. And um, when you press OK, the OK button here, it starts the test. And the numbers showing up are represented by this flashing light. So you get the amp hours and that changes as uh, the energy is drawn out So and keeps track of it as long as it stays active and plugged in. And then the amps, that's uh, what it's being drawn out of the battery. And then your current voltage. Voltage there, 3.3. So <clears throat> this will take a little while to come down um, and we'll just uh, come in as we finish up.
Okay, we're coming to the end of our discharge cycle. So you can see it's dropped to three bolts. Uh, it seems to need to sit there just a little bit. And uh, once it gets completes its test, uh, that display will start blinking rapidly. We'll wait a little bit. There we go. So now it's the display is uh, blinking rapidly. It means the test is over. And if we press the OK button, I, my finger just came over this, that's hot. So, it's been working. So, so it shows uh, 84 milliamps of charge gotten out of it. And uh, that's a very small amount. This battery's been discharged now three times without charging. Uh, the voltage comes back gradually once uh, everything stops, um, but it gives a good demonstration of how uh, you would test a good battery, except it would take a lot longer.